waiting until tomorrow night, the second round, with the 55th pick by LeBron's Lakers. But, Paul Pierce, what percentage chance do you give it that Bronny does get drafted in tonight's first round? I give it 50-50, Skip. Really? Yeah, because if the Lakers, I think they should draft him at 17. Because I just don't think nobody, once you get around 15, 16, 17, past that, is significant, significant enough to draft. So why not take it on Bronny? But check this out. I got a scenario for you. <laughs> If the Lakers don't draft him at 17, they better hope the Celtics don't get him at 30. Okay. Celtics because might pick him up at 30. Then just what? Just despite the Lakers? Oh, man. Yeah. I hope we pick him at 30. All right. And do what with him? You know, I don't know. Use him for Trey Bay for the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? When I really thought about it, think about Bronny on, on the Celtics. He gets the tutelage of Drew Holiday? For the next three years? Okay. Because, like, you could kind of say Bronny could kind of turn into that, maybe. He could. You know, a yep. guy that's mm -hmm. high IQ and mm -hmm. elite defender, yep. about the same size, mm -hmm. not you know, but a little more athletic. I mean, that might not be a bad thing, you know, to be behind Derek White and, and Drew Holiday. Okay. You know, Drew's up there in age. You got to figure the next three, four years, you know, he'll, he'll retire. Who knows? You know, so... That might not be a bad move for him. And, you know, we'll, 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 we always try to find a way to troll the Lakers, mm. you know, and, and do well, it. Well, so. how, would that, how would that troll the Lakers? What, because you know everybody want him to go there. So think of how yeah, ironic no, would it be. We want him to get drafted. But how, 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 how ironic would it be for the Celtics to pick him? That's fine. So what? You pick him. He lives his dream. You're not doing nothing to us. We'll hold him for ransom for Lakers. Uh, Lakers. Uh, Why so full of <laughs> for a Laker him. trade <laughs> for ransom for yeah. a Laker trade. You know, it's interesting. I look at it uh, a lot of different ways. Skip in this situation, because I believe, I believe I'm not 100 percent sure, but I believe LeBron and them is somewhere floating around in New York City right now. They were. Uh, I mean, we're going to talk about the video. Well, that's what, what the draft is. No, no, I understand that. I, I get it. They it, it, floating around in New York City yeah. somewhere. Okay. And the the Bronny wants his name to be called. He does. He wants his name I to just be want to hear my name called. That, that's that, that, that's you, you want to yep. hear your name called. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be sitting and waiting and so something gives me the same notion of a 50-50. Because you know, it's not out the, out of the realm that behind the scenes. His agent and Rich Paul could be having conversations with teams about him and floating out Phoenix and L.A. so much that we all focus in on Phoenix and L.A. If somebody comes in on the back door and swoop in because they see him as a project that they see something in that they could develop and say, you know what? We think he could develop into this. He can play basketball. We, we want to waste two years, three years to get him to where, you know, let's use this as his college experience in the NBA for the next couple years. So that's 50. The other 50 is if he doesn't go today, he's for sure going to go tomorrow. Yeah. Because the Lakers ain't letting him pass 55. As I said to you guys yesterday, he wants to be drafted. And they want him drafted. He ain't going to get embarrassed. So he's going to eventually be on somebody's team. I wouldn't be shocked if he did go tonight, though. I wouldn't be shocked at all. Mm. I would not be shocked. To where? What would be your best guess? <sighs> I, I don't know, Skip. Mm. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I feel like that they're going to work their magic. They're going to do what they need to do to get it done. All right. I'm going to stick with only 10% gets drafted tonight, only because all the major NBA draft analysts... Las Vegas, they're just saying it's a done deal to the Lakers at 55. Like it's set in stone. Just book it, Lakers 55. Then at least Bronny has the cachet of saying, I did get drafted, I heard my name called, even though it's only four picks from the bottom of the draft. And he would then obviously be guaranteed to play with his father on the Lakers, maybe for the next three years as he develops. That would be the best place for him to go as far as getting early minutes because he's going to get some minutes with his dad next year, I believe. 
There's going to be no G League going on there. He's going to be playing some minutes for the Los Angeles so Lakers. That means the Lakers not going to be that good. Well, you could, if you want to make that case. I just yeah. think. I mean, if you get a 55th yeah. pick guy who's getting minutes, yeah. well, most likely going to be on a team that's not that. See, good. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I look at, I'm looking at it from Clutch and Rich Paul. They're in New York. He does not want to sit and wait till tomorrow. They know that. Don't want to sit and wait till tomorrow. It's a long night tonight. It's yep. a long. Mm -hmm. They don't. Yeah. He don't want to sit in that no, green I, I room understand. and come back. Well, he's I, not think about. Think green, about. He's not gonna be in the green room. Or wherever, at, wherever at green room hotel, whatever. No, think of, think room. about this for a minute though, Skip. And Paul, LeBron James. We're not talking about me and Paul who play basketball and we got a second round. It's LeBron James. Mm -hmm. They. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you don't do. wanna. Yeah. You, it's LeBron. Yeah. For whatever it's worth. Okay. You right. know, somebody would just do it because it's LeBron, it's Rich Paul, he got other players, you know. Yeah. You just might just yeah. say, hey, we're going to take him at 27, and right. we're going to take him at 26 For sure. because I got action at something else okay. because we mm -hmm. are willing to do that to let him develop. Okay. Here's what I don't know about LeBron James Jr., I don't know his mindset as we speak because it's possible he is becoming his own man. It's possible that Bronny is telling Rich Paul, you know what, I love my dad, but, but I don't want to be my dad or try to be that or, or play Under in a shadow. shadow. Like, I, I, I want to start over. I want to do it on my own. So let's see if we can get drafted by somebody tonight like your Celtics. Because, again, you were just sort of half tongue in cheek, and then the more you talked about well, it, the more about I started it, saying, wait a sense, second. Huh? That, but that's, that's, but that's it does saying, make though. sense. It does make sense, it, it right? Does. You, I like it. You draft him, yeah. you, draft like, you, really you learn from it? somebody that yeah. has the same sort of game. Yeah, both those guys. You know? yeah, Listen, it makes both, sense for Celtics. Like, when you really start thinking about it, it's like it went from when I thought about it as a trolling, but when you really yeah. think about it, Hey, that might be the best scenario hey, you, for him. You, your backcourt, which you were making the case, is as great a defensive backcourt as yeah. we've ever seen. Those two men, that they got as strong a basketball backbone as I have ever seen in players of that caliber. Yeah. Where they meant so much, they're going to take and make big shots, and they are going to defend you to the teeth. You know, they're they're going right. to get up in you. They're going. Listen, Bronny could learn he so can, much from can, both he, of he them. Can come from that mold. Yeah. You know, because he's known as a defender. You know, he'll, he'll come in already NBA-ready defender. Like, at some level. I'm not saying he'll come in as a stopper or... Because he has to learn oh, you know, the players' different, yeah, games. And trades. But if you come in under a Drew Holiday mm. and Derek White, arguably yeah. the best defensive backcourt to ever... Okay. And wh what have I told you about your team? After the, your top six, I don't love what's after it. And Sam yeah. Hauser shut me up. He made some threes. I'll, I'll give you that. But Pritchard, I, I just don't love him. He can make half-court shots. I, I don't know about the rest of it. But I'm saying... Yeah, in other words, yeah. Ronnie James could that's do that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you, you could have a shot in there, man. Yeah, you you yeah, might exactly. get some minutes here and right, there. You, right. You'd be just fine. Yeah. And, and obviously... He, he's got some stature to him. We're going to look at that video. Bronny does, but he's going to get more and more of his man body, his yeah, sort of Chris Paul body, athletic. right? Yeah. Okay? So I, I don't hate that. Yeah. And, and there are others... Listen, Philadelphia's sitting there with two picks at 16 and 41, and Daryl Morey just loves to shake things up and, and throw curveballs and be the center of attention. Mm -hmm. would, would he take, even at 41, would he take Bryant? Well, sure. I, it wouldn't shock me a bit if he tried that. Yeah. And then... Bronny did go work out for Phoenix, and Phoenix is sitting at 22. Would and they just they do it? Even, Would they, they, they don't even need much at the point guard. No, they, they just don't. need somebody who can bring it up yeah. and get the ball to their scores, actually. Yeah. Because I think that's the only thing that just kind of hampered them this year, Phoenix. So, it, I mean... And Phoenix. the interesting thing about it is I've been saying since we've been having this conversation, it felt like all year long since he was at SC and came back the start of the season is they can do, NBA teams can do certain things with guys like him. Meaning like, like Paul is saying, not asking you to score like your dad, but in our minds because of the last name, first thing we start thinking, oh, he's gonna do the same things as his dad. Instead yeah. of just saying, well, he's not gonna do that. No. He's just gonna be a guy on the court, bring the ball up, you know, and, and go get ready to do a spot, spot up shoot uh, three or go play defense yeah. and get 15 minutes a game until you develop. Right.
He can do that for many teams. Drew Holiday was not your most valuable player, obviously, but I do think he almost. was your most important player. He was almost. No, he, he, he was in the mix. No, he was in the mix for sure. Yeah, but in the I'm just doing the big picture, not yeah. just in the finals. But right. 